The grandfather paradox has stumped physicists and philosophers for decades. Summarizing briefly, if time travel is possible, then a time traveler could go back in time and shoot and kill their grandfather before their mother was conceived. If this were the case, the murderous grandchild would have never existed and wouldn't be able to kill their grandfather in the first place. This seems to suggest that time traveling backward is impossible. While many solutions to this paradox exist, one of the most intriguing suggests that the universe does not allow for such paradoxical scenarios. It's possible the universe has some sort of self-correcting mechanism to ensure things turn out in a specific way. For instance, the closer someone gets to murdering their grandfather, the harder the universe will make it for that to happen. Maybe the specific bullet or gun that will be used to kill the grandfather will end up having some sort of defect and won't be able to properly perform. Of course, the murder weapon doesn't have to be a gun. No matter the method, something, even the most unlikely of things, will happen to stop it. Does this seem strange? Believe it or not, the idea that the universe is self-correcting is supported by scientific evidence. There have been numerous experiments done that seem to push the limits of what the universe allows, which show that the cosmos may only support selected outcomes. Another less exciting solution to the paradox implies that by going back in time, the traveler would be existing in a quantum superposition of two states, one where the grandfather is alive and one where he is dead. Therefore, no paradox exists at all. If we ever have the ability to send particles or people back in time, there is no way of knowing what will happen. One thing we can be sure of is that the universe works in mysterious ways. For now, all we can do is speculate.